going on guys? It's the Poster 64, back here with another Godzilla figure review. Guys, today we are taking a look at the supercharged Godzilla with, don't forget, the fighter jet from Playmates. This is another uh, figure from the line, Godzilla vs. Kong from Playmates. Guys, real quick, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Obviously, you have the battle damage right on the chest. This is called the Supercharged Godzilla. It does come with a fighter jet. We'll take a look at that later. Um, and you side of the packaging. Here's the back of the packaging. Interesting thing, uh, if you care to read the back, you can pause that for now. Interesting weird little thing about this is, so yeah, you know, we have all the other figures that we've talked about and looked at. There's the barcode if you want to show that to somebody at the Walmart where you can pick this up. But something interesting about this is they called it the Supercharged Godzilla. Now, if we look at the packaging, this is the packaging from the, the Hong Kong Battle Godzilla. They actually called this guy Godzilla Extreme with fighter jet, which is interesting. Um, and then originally everything else came out, and I assumed that they just scrapped this figure or replaced it with the Battle Roar Godzilla or something. But finally we got this thing with a name change, Supercharged Godzilla. So it's just kind of interesting how they changed the name of it. I'm not sure why they did that. Supercharged sounds a little better, but interesting that they decided to do that. We'll get the packaging out of the way here. Take a quick look at everybody's favorite piece, the fighter jet. Um, not, uh, not the best detail in here, kind of, um, little messy, just blob of whatever. So there's your fighter jet for all those of you who care, and here is the figure. This guy lands you right about in the, uh, the $10 to $12 price range over at Walmart. Obviously standing super front leaning, uh, leaning forward, like he's doing a big roar or something. You do have the see-through spines, which is cool, very similar to the, the Battle Roar Godzilla. Uh, tail's a little different. We'll bust out the battle roar here in a minute, take a look at him. But I just wanted to run over this guy. Uh, typical Playmates Godzilla, a little derpy face there. Uh, no individually sculpted teeth. Uh, no teeth actually really at all, just kind of a white line painted there. Um, decent, decently okay detail on the body. The spines look better than anything else, I think. Uh, fading out as you get to the tail, and then a pretty aggressive paint fade as you get to the bottom of the tail. But nothing too bad, nothing huge to complain about considering it's so inexpensive. Uh, in terms of articulation, we do have mouth articulation, so that's nice. Um, this head joint is fixed. Uh, actually, you can get a little out of it. Just a tiny bit. Not really anything. Uh, arms will go 360 for you. The legs get not locked in at the uh, those points there. So you get a decent amount of mobility out of the legs. The tail, this comes separately, as you can see here. Uh, just attaches with a ball joint, so you obviously get typical ball joint movement out of it. You can move it side to side, kind of smooth it around, and it will do the 360. Um, the feet, it looks like we might be able to get a little bit of... There might be like a seal there that has to be broken that I'm not going to break. So not, not real, really any articulation out of the feet without breaking a seal. Um, cool thing I've seen also people doing with this is you can get them in the standing pose, or you can do what you do with the, the battle roar, and people I've seen people do with the SH Monster Arts. And they've kind of put him in the crawling position, like you remember when he was crawling around in Tokyo or in Hong Kong there, when he was looking for Kong. So you can kind of put him in the crawl position if you want to spice up your shelf a little bit, make him look a little different than all the other Godzillas that are standing around there. Um, in terms of sizing, we'll grab the ruler really quick. Obviously, he's leaning kind of forward, but he pretty much comes in contact with that six inch line. Nose down, just about nine inches almost. But, so meaning he will scale fairly well. This is the, the Kong with the fighter jet. Scale's okay. He's a little small there. Um, really quickly, I just want to take a look at Kong's fighter jet. Um, looks way better and way bigger than this tiny, crappy little fighter jet we got from Godzilla. So that's interesting. Um, but he scales pretty decently with Kong there. Um, meaning he'll also scale pretty well with any SH Monster Arts. This is the, uh, the Godzilla from from Godzilla vs. Kong. Scales pretty well with most of your 6-inch lines. So any of your Bandai 6 inches, Playmates 6 inches, SH Monster Arts 6 inches. He'll scale pretty well with any of those guys. Um, he won't, however, scale well with the, the Battle Roar Godzilla or Kong. Obviously because those guys were made at a weirdly larger size. So he's a bit bigger, or a bit smaller, excuse me, than the Battle Roar Godzilla here. Um, I, I find the super similarities between the two, though, because they're both kind of in the upward-facing position. They both can kind of do the crawl, and then they both have the see-through spines. Uh, this figure actually surprisingly does a bit better job at blending the, you know, the obviously different spines out. 
This just looks a lot better because they, they fade it better and then the paint looks better. This one looks so different. You know, you have the dark, dark, dark blue spines here and they fade super aggressively into the light spines. And then there's this line here with nothing. So um, definitely, I still like this figure a lot, but uh, this new one here, the Supercharged Godzilla, did a bit better with that fade out, which if you guys watch most of the videos I do, I get really picky with the fade out they do because normally it's super lazy. Not to say this one's not great, but um, definitely better than some we have seen. Uh, obviously, we do have the battle damage here. I have the piece put in. We'll go ahead and pop it out. Show the super crazy aggressive battle damage that didn't come close to happening to Godzilla in the fight. We didn't see any giant piece of his chest gouged out. Um, this thing is a little hit or miss on putting it in back. Um, I found, if anyone has trouble with it, by the way, there's kind of the groove on the top and the groove on the bottom. Um, kind of put in the top groove, twist it, put in the bottom groove, and then just kind of press around everything until, until it's all kind of back in place. But there you go, guys. I just want to do a quick video on this guy. I know people have been kind of seeing him pop up. He's a little late to the party. I know he was uh, one of the last figures added, maybe the last figure added to the lineup. Started coming out at stores. The supercharged Godzilla coming in about, I'm pretty sure this guy was at the, tw the, the $10 price point, but definitely no more than 12 So, guys, let me know in the comments. Did you pick this guy up? What do you think? And why is your favorite part about this? The plane. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.